Hey guys, welcome back to No Ordinary Path. I'm John, thanks for joining us. I know when I was interested in starting this, I wanted to see what tools and things I needed to bring with me. I had a full garage of all sorts of tools, including like the large stand-up toolbox. I pared all that stuff down and I sold a lot of it, but this is what I brought with me and I wanted to go over it with you guys to show you what I'm bringing and what I use on a daily basis and just what's handy for me to have around. In the spirit of our one year wrap up series, I thought it would be fun to go through some of the tools that I used within that one year. We have done, if you've been following us for a while, a lot of different things. We've been all over the country with Wendy, our 37 foot travel trailer, and there's been some mishaps along the way that have needed fixed. There's been a renovation that we did in Reno, Nevada. So we've done a lot of different things and sometimes I get questions about the tools that I have brought with me and what I use to help fix her. Now, real quick, tools what I'm referring to here are things like wrenches and stuff like that that are tools to fix things. Not necessarily things like a water pump and stuff like that. These are actual tool tools. <laughs> First, we're keeping it simple. What I have laid in front of me represents the must haves. These are the things that I use almost on a daily basis. Certainly whenever we're pulling in or rolling out from a different area, I use most of this stuff. The gloves, right? I use the gloves all the time. The gloves, those are some big heavy duty ones. I use those for the sewer lines. Something that's truly invaluable is this little multi-tool. Um, I actually have a couple of these. I have one in every vehicle, maybe one or two in Windy. And this has uh, pliers on it. It's like a little switch bay plier things. I love these. So these are little needle nose pliers, super handy to have. And it's got like little saw blades and all the typical stuff that you have in multi-tools. Um, this is a tire gauge. Now you can buy these things all over the place, but I would say with trailer tires and especially with big truck tires like this, what I usually have my E-rated tires pressurized to like around 60 to 65 PSI. They'll go up to 80. So you need to, if you're just buying this at a gas station, you need to make sure you have one that will go that high. A lot of these will only go to like 40 or 50 because the general passenger truck tire or passenger car tire is usually aired up to around 35 to 40 PSI. 20 volt lithium cordless drill. I use this for everything, you guys. I use this for raising and lowering the different stabilizers. I use this for maintenance and stuff on the inside, screws, taking things apart. I use this on vehicle maintenance sometimes as well. It's not an impact, it's just a standard. Um, but with the 20 volt system, and there are different things you can buy. This one came with two of these batteries plus a charger and a light and I, I have this sit down here we have a bunch of flashlights we have a bunch of headlamps all sorts of stuff like that but if i ever need to do something at night like that one time we were in phoenix and i stepped on a tire valve and it aired down in the middle of the night right before we were supposed to pull out the next morning i have this light where i can kind of adjust it and turn it on so that the beam is angled and i can just set it down somewhere and forget about it tape measure i feel like this is obvious but we use it for a lot of things from hanging things in the rig to knowing exactly how tall we are so that we can safely go under certain bridges and stuff like that. Sockets and a socket set. This is just a 3 8 socket wrench. You, you'll need and want some sort of socket set, even a standard one with maybe like six or eight different socket heads. Um, this is a ratcheting wrench, uh, socket wrench type thing that I have. This is for the x chocks. Now this one actually came with them, so I use it fairly frequently, but it is starting to the little uh, teeth on the inside are starting to catch. It's not working as well as it used to, but um, that's another one that's super handy that I use all the time. I bought this. Basically, it's a set of just different kind of screws and nuts and bolts and things like that. And I have used this for all sorts of stuff. So that's kind of a replenishable one. A screwdriver. I really enjoy the kind that are ratcheting. Um, this one you can adjust to either go right or you know tighten or loosen. Um, it also has a different mix of, you know, bit heads inside of it. And lastly, my phone. Um, and this can be the internet, this can be a computer, this can be whatever you want to call it, but I use this all the time and a lot of it is YouTube. I YouTube how to fix 
a ton of stuff. There is so much information out there. We are truly living in that kind of age. It's all at our fingertips and it's all right here. This is probably the strongest and most useful tool that I have to learn how to fix something or how to do something or what size of something I need. So it counts definitely. This is a Craftsman set. This one specifically is the Mechanics set. Um, it is well loved. It, I have owned it for, mm, gosh, maybe 10 years at least. But I really like this set for multiple reasons. Um, it comes with a 3 8 inch ratchet and it also comes with a half inch ratchet. The half inch being longer and bigger is gonna give you a lot more torque. It's got a standard and a metric set of everything plus the wrenches and stuff like that. Do you need all this? No, no you don't. And you won't use all of it, but it was one of those things, this is, a, this is a handy to have. There are occasionally weird little bolts and nuts and things like that that I come across that aren't your standard set that you would maybe get in a box that looks about this size with a little fades ratchet in it. Still, that one I would definitely put in a must have, but every once in a while you'll come across something that's strange. One thing that I would advise you to, to look for is to get a set of extenders. Um, reaching up in the underbelly of Wendy, doing pumps, or if you're gonna work on maintenance on your own vehicles, these are a must have. This is just, well, you guys can see what it is. It's a standard toolbox, like classic red, right? It's got some old stickers. It's all scratched, it would dense. I love this thing. Um, do I need a toolbox? No, no I don't at all. This is for having, um, what I see and what I keep in this are my maintenance for the vehicles. Um, if I'm doing the brakes or if I'm working on any of the engines or stuff like that, this is what I usually pull out because it's got that plus the socket set. Um, or what I'll do is I'll just take some of the sockets I know I'm gonna use because I'm fairly familiar with my vehicles, put them in this so I just have one thing, everything's together. Um, in here, we'll talk about a couple little things. This came with, this actually came with Wendy, and I love this thing. Um, it is a extender, but it's one that springs. So I can attach my drill to this and spin it at an angle. I don't know if you guys can see it, but super handy to have. Love that thing. All right, um, channel locks. This is a great little tool, and I used this when we were doing the remodel. Um, I would love to have a saw saw. That's the big drill, you know, with the uh, saw on the end of it. I don't have room for that. So Kristen actually bought this for me. This is a little miniature blade system that folds out, and you can put different saws all blades in it. Super handy because this is kind of an all-purpose blade, but I can put one on there that's specifically for wood if they're as a metal that I need to cut, I can put that on there. So it's a super useful little tool to have. Torque wrench, this is a big one. This is for torquing down lug nuts on tires and things like that. Working, this again is more vehicle related than trailer related. Do you have to have this? If you're going to work on your own vehicles, it's probably important to have some of these bigger tools. If you are not and you're gonna trust it all to a mechanic or a shop, and again, no judgment here. If that's you, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Crowbars. I actually have a really big one that I keep next to the door. <laughs> That's for a different reason, but I have a couple of these. Um, I use these mainly for doing brakes and stuff like that, prying off brake pads, prying off brake calibers. Um, so they do get used occasionally, but not that often. Still kind of handy to have. This is um, some a bag of mine that sits right in the front of Wendy. Um, it holds a bunch of knick-knack things, but it is kind of handy to have. So real quick, we'll go through this. Multiple pockets. As far as like organization and gear nerdiness, I love this thing. But in here I've got some vice grips. I do have a pipe wrench. I use this a lot, you guys, for when I'm hooking up to water sources. Hammer. Don't need a big one. I mean, this is a seven ounce. I don't need a claw, wall, you know, demo hammer or anything like that. This works for everything that I need. All right, a bunch of ratchet straps in this top channel. Bungees, I like the adjustable kind. And then I also have different size uh, hitch pins. Kristen's van actually has a hitch. We could put a bike rack or something like that on it. I keep that here. Or if something happens to my own, I've got a backup. I keep a large, uh, large gauge, long, I wanna say this is close to, I think this is a 12 feet, um, charger cables. This is a 20,000 pound tow strap. I have never used it. It is still dirty. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but I've never used it. I will not part with it just in case. Lubricant like a um, WD-40, off-brand. 
This is my extension cord. It's a 30 amp extension cord for Wendy. I have used this even in parks. I've had to use this in a couple of parks before, so handy to have. I have an extra ball hitch. I use this because I've actually moved around other people's small trailers with my truck before. Um, with our hitch, it's gigantic. I don't have to use this. I can also throw this on Kristen's car to pull the Schwagen with if we need to. This is a two ton bottle jack. I have this again as a backup jack. I have a, a bigger one in my truck for the truck, um, but I could use that in conjunction with this to maybe lift up a tire of Wendy. Funny story, this bag is a really fun one that I like and it's got some fun memories because inside of this, before it was full of my tools, it actually used to house a ventilator in a helicopter. <laughs> it was given to me, but uh, I love it and it's super handy. And this is a heavy bag but it is cool because it's also a backpack. I hope you found this useful. Those are the tools that I use. Um, and I had a lot to pare down. It took a long time to try to decide because I had all sorts, a nice garage full, a nice shed full in Colorado. I do some minor repairs on my vehicles, like the you know stuff breaks, I try to fix it. I also like to you know change my own brakes and that kind of stuff. Um, and I try to fix Wendy when I can. Now we also have a full warranty on her uh, and an extended warranty. So when it comes to major things breaking down, yeah, I could probably fix it with YouTube, but I'm going to use the warranty because we did pay for it. I'd love to hear if there's something that I don't have that you carry that you think is super important. Leave a comment below, let me know. Thanks for being here again. We really appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already and hit the like button for us. It really helps with these videos. So thanks and we'll see you out there.